and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about the best e-bike out there for $5,000. And no, I don't know the answer for sure. What do you think? What is the best e-bike out there that you can get if you're spending $5,000 on one? Now I'm talking US dollars here. For me, and I, I'm now when I'm saying five thousand dollar best e bike, I'm saying as is, not modified uh, in any way. This is just straight from whomever is selling the bike. So my pick would probably be. Now I would probably do more research, but right now from what I know of bikes out there for that price range, for me personally, I would probably take the Onyx RCR. But I think a lot of people are gonna also pick the RCR or they're gonna pick a Saran. Those are pretty popular, so those are those would be the two most popular bikes uh, I think but hey if you uh, know of another bike that's in that $5,000 area put that in the comments I'd like to hear what others would choose so we'll try to keep it around $5,000 uh, what is out there what can you get for that much money and I mean a bike that's ready to go, not, not having to be changed in any way. I know there's other bikes out there, but some of them that I would pick would probably be more expensive. Like I would uh, look at the uh, the Lyric uh, Cycles, the Voodoo. And the Huck. Huck Cycles have some good uh, bikes too. Good looking bikes. Well, like I say, I think from what I have seen so far, I, I kind of think I would pick the uh, Onyx RCR if I had $5,000 I was going to be spending. That's as of, as of today. Now, I don't know down the road here. I'm sure we're going to see more bikes. But uh, like I say, if you know of any bikes that would be up there with the uh, Onyx or the Saran, uh, drop us a comment there and uh, let us know what you think. I don't. I wouldn't pick the uh, Ars or the uh, Saran myself because I'm not a big off-roader. I'm more of a street rider, so that's why I would pick the Onyx. But if I was, I would pick a Saran. Uh, for sure uh, right now the bikes are out there although there's the Talaria Sting I think it was is 
that's just uh, recently out. Boy, that might give it a run for its money too. That's that's another one you could probably throw into the mix. I'm sure there's others as well. But like I say, I'm leaning personally more toward uh, street bike, but I know a lot of people out there like to do a little bit of both. I think part of the reason why I don't do more off-roading is because I don't know of a lot of areas to do off-roading. Um, and uh, I don't know, I just kind of like riding on the streets. A little off-roading is kind of nice too though. Just a beautiful day here today. Don't think I want to get off the bike. Could ride it all day. Some people may say as well, some of you out there may say, well, for $5,000, I can get myself a couple of bikes, but I'm just saying, let's spend to the max. What's the best bike out there uh, for $5,000 in your opinion? I don't think there's really um, a wrong answer. Uh, what made me kind of think about this First of all, uh, prices of bikes are going up uh, all the time, and if you want to, you know, if you want to go a step further than what you have now, you have to pay the bigger bucks, right? Well, uh, when you look at something like a Super 73, like the Mojave, which at one time I was kind of looking at buying. Uh, and I ended up not buying one, but they're $4,000. So, I mean, that's almost your $5,000 bike right there. It's just a little bit under, but it's, it's trending toward being a $5,000 bike. And for me, uh, I don't see $5,000 in that bike. But That's why I'm saying if you add another thousand dollars, you go from four to five, and another thousand, if you're gonna spend four and you go one more to five, I think you can get yourself a lot better bike than, than the uh, $4,000 is gonna get you. For me, I kind of, it's intriguing the uh, getting a bike that has uh, 72 volt. Uh, I haven't had that, that high of power yet. And uh, I think that would be pretty cool. But uh, with the higher voltage, and uh, you're going to pay uh, a bigger price. For sure. The price for a 72 bat a volt battery is going to go up significantly over what a, a 52, which is on this bike, would be. But I just, for me, I think the 72 volt would be cool because it would give you that extra, extra power, you know. And uh, I don't, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't be using it all the time, but just it's there if you want to use it or need it at certain times, especially when you're riding on the street. I don't know, when you get into situations like you're in a, uh, I'm going to go this way, when you're in a uh, intersection 
or you're climbing a hill you know you've got all that power behind you whatever you need it's going to uh, give you what you need for sure I'm not sure what they're doing but let's uh, get around them but I can tell you one thing whatever bike it is if it was person got a five thousand dollar bike I'd want it to be as smooth a ride as this one this lyric graffiti is just I know I've said it time and time again but it's just a just a, a pleasure to ride the uh, I suppose you could if you're gonna get a five thousand dollar bike you're probably you're I'm sure you're gonna get a full suspension I don't think a person would pay $5,000 and not get a full suspension, but... So yeah, let me know in the comments what bike you think is out there. What would you buy for $5,000? What are, what are the... Is there a lot of choices or... Yeah, let me know in the comments. Well, I wanted to get out for a ride on this beautiful afternoon. And I thought, let's talk about bikes that are a little bit more on the higher end. That have a little bit of get up and go. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.